Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I'm ready to do my first impressions on this guy. This is the Strider SNG. This one is a CC SNG, which means concealed carry, from what I gather. Uh, that means that it has a slim, smooth G10. Um, I believe the profile in general is slimmer. Even this titanium Lockside seems slimmer than what I remember other ones being. But this is my first proper actual Strider SNG. I've had a couple of the Protex. I had the Joke clone Strider that met a fitting demise and got yeeted off of a cliff. Um, but I, I've had the Protec ones, and I've handled some real ones, right? I've got a few buddies who are really into Striders that I've met up with a couple of times, and I've handled some crazy ones, like Nightmare Grind, gnarly stuff, right? Stuff that's not just SNGs or SMFs. And I, I've gotten to handle quite a few Striders, and they've just never really felt like the type of knife for me, although there are things about it that I love, right? Like, love the Ergos, really, really like this handle profile and the way that it indexes for me, so good. Um, I like the blade and the grind um, for kind of like a hard use knife. I, I like the way this knife goes in reverse grip, I think is my favorite of any folding knife. There's just a lot of like, things about this knife that kind of draw me in, but it also it is not what I look for in a knife, because I generally like knives that are fun to fidget with, and this one is not. <laughs> um, if I want a middle finger flick it, I have to give it wrist. That's a no-go for me. I don't like when I have to give knives wrist. Um, thumb flicking it, it's a little better. Um, I get a slightly better angle on it, but a lot of the striders I've handled have had lock stick, some horrible, some okay. Some have had none. This one has like what I'd call just a little bit of lock stick. Um, I tightened the pivot down on this one. When I opened it, it was pretty loose, um, but I tightened it down. Now there's no play forward and back or side to side. It feels good and, and it's locked up well. Um, but yeah, I've just, I've never found them to be fun to deploy or to close. I, I find the lock stick a little alarming that so many of them have it and everyone just seems to accept like Okay, they have lock stick. No biggie. Um, that's weird to me. Um, this one right now is not perfectly centered the way it is. It's not rubbing or anything, but it's just they seem to have like a lot of little issues. I kind of look at them a lot like I look at Emerson knives. Like I kind of just feel like they're not for me. <laughs> the way that I use my knife budget to buy things, I, I feel like they're expensive for the fit and finish and like the way they actually work compared to a lot of the competition at that price point. So this one is definitely no cheap strider, right? This guy, um, we're looking at, like I said, a, a CC variant. So I don't know what this knife would have gone for new, uh, but I traded a knife for it that was worth about 600 bucks. Let's say that's about what this one is worth. That seemed fair to me. Um, that seems relatively consistent with what they go for. Um, the guy I traded with, I forgot to toss in the box, but he did also include a different lock bar stabilizer and clip, which added to the value of it. But this one's in 20 CV. It's got the typical Strider kind of flame lock side, um, which I think this is one of the only knives that I kind of like that on. <laughs> uh, it just seems fitting on these, and I like that it's not too colorful either. I don't like flame anno when it's like purple and bronze and stuff. It just, it's not my speed, but this one looks still pretty monotone, which I like. We've got all black hardware, which I really like, including the clip. Um, it's a hollow ground blade. I like the hollow grind on here. I love that it's OD G10. OD green is uh, one of my favorite colors in the world. So I think it looks nice. I think as striders go, and I mentioned this in my unboxing, this is the one that has the best chance of winning me over to be a knife that I want to own and keep long term. Um, if I don't, I think I'm pretty safe because generally striders are fairly easy to move on the secondary, whether I trade for something else or sell it, I probably won't lose out too much, right? But I'm compelled by this one. And I carried it yesterday after I opened it for a while. Um, was that yesterday? I think it was. Anyways, and then I carried it today up here. So I carried it all morning around the house, and then I hiked in here with it, and I'm ready to do my, my kind of first impressions. Yesterday I did open a couple of boxes with it, so I've felt how it cut a little bit, and I've just kind of started to experience it. Um, the edge that's on here is fantastic. I don't know if this is the factory edge or not, because I'm not the first owner, um, but 
whether it's factory or not, it's really nice. I, it, it's hard to tell. It looks like it probably is the factory edge. If it's not, I don't know what system it was sharped on, sharpened on, but it's a nice edge that's on here. Um, so yeah, this being the CC version of the SNG, it carries really good. <laughs> carries really well, I should say. I like carrying this knife. Having this knife in my pocket is really comfortable. I do think I'd prefer if it had a deep carry clip, because that's my preference, preference in general. Um, the Strider clip leaves a lot of knife sticking out of your pocket, that's for sure. But that's kind of the design, right? Like, my Protex Strider also has the same clip on it, and also has the same amount that sticks out of your pocket. But this is slimmer than my Protex one. Um, not long ago, right after a California Custom Knife Show, I had in my possession a Gunner Grip SNG, the GG, right? all these letters and stuff, I I hope I don't get into Striders, because I don't want to have to memorize all these things long term, but the Gunner Grip SNG was really aggressive G10. I hated the G10 on it. It was just so overly aggressive. Apparently, that's like the operator version that operators who are wearing gloves use to breach doors and stuff. I have no interest in that. None whatsoever. This one, being this slim, smooth G10, feels really nice to me. And so the fact that it's smooth over here and slim, and then we've got slim titanium side and it's smooth over there, it goes in and out of pocket really well and it feels super comfortable while it's in pocket. Plus, the overall profile is just way slimmer than... I, I don't know if I've never handled this version of a Strider before, um, or if I just think of them as all being thick because most of the ones I've handled have been thick, but this profile feels worlds better. Um, so yeah, that's that's a good thing. Uh, it's carried really, really well. It's done great for the very little bit of cutting that I've done with it so far. This knife is not thin behind the edge, uh, but it's not really trying to be. This is like, I think, designed realistically, or it operates in the space at least, of competing with like the Hinderer XM18. Like, And when you get an XM18 with thick blade stock like this, it's also going to be thick behind the edge. These are like tactical knives, right? They're overbuilt on purpose. And this one's interesting because it still has the really thick blade stock, but it's got the thin handle scales and uh, and it's smoother. And so it's like, it's kind of a happy medium for me where it still feels like a proper strider being like a thick, hardy blade, but then it's more comfortable in hand, more comfortable in pocket. It's lighter. There's a lot that's that's good about these changes of this version, right? And I, I genuinely don't know. Maybe they make more of these than they do the Gunner Grips and other stuff. But um, anyways, <laughs> I just don't know. So first impressions wise, um, I don't like the action on this knife. It's kind of unacceptable to me in some ways that to middle finger flick it with this hole, I have to use a little wrist. Um, it's not like this knife is brand new and I'm like, maybe it'll break in because this knife is, I'm not the first owner. It's been carried and used and so it should already be broken in, right? Maybe I add some KPL in there and I dial it just right and I can get it to be better. I'm, I'll, I'll try that, sure. Um, for thumb deployment, it's better, but it's still not great. And then on closing, I mean, it's just, it's not designed to be drop shutty and it's not. I like knives that are drop shutty. Washers or bearings, whatever it is, I like when knives are smooth and they're crisp to deploy and they're fun to close. This isn't. So it's it's kind of like, I don't know, it, it's interesting that it operates in the space of like Hinderer and Chris Reeve. Because like the big three, right, are supposedly the Chris Reeve Sabenza, the Hinderer XM18, and this, the Strider SNG. These are like the, the competitors in that realm, at that price point-ish, and being made in the U.S., and small numbers, and I've always kind of thought, like, I've already known for a while, not a big fan of the Chris Reeve. I like Hinderers, but I don't love them. And in fact, I like the ZT-562 more than I like the Hinderer XM18, because it solves some of the things that I don't prefer about the XM18. I've said for a while as well, I'm pretty sure that I prefer the Protec SNG to the Strider SNG. Because it's the same knife, but built by Protec and as an automatic, right? It's the same silhouette, it's the, the same model. They're both the SNG. 
Sorry, I had to wait for a helicopter to go by. Anyways, the ProTech SNG has been more compelling to me in a number of ways because it's smooth, right? Because it carries a little easier for that reason. Because it's lighter. Um, the blade on those, they're all 154 cm, which isn't my favorite, but um, I found they're quite usable. And so, just recently, I also picked up the ProTech SNG, the operator version, all black with the tritium button, and it's really cool, right? And so it's interesting timing that I had the chance to pick this up kind of at the same time because I like the ProTech definitely way more than I like the like gunner grip version of this knife. But this one, I don't know, the ProTech being an auto, it's really fun to deploy. But it also sucks to close. <laughs> um, so this one, like, I have to use a little wrist, but it's it's not like it's worse than the ProTech is to close. Side opening autos, kind of a bummer. You usually kind of have to use two hands kind of thing. But this one, if I get it right with my thumb, it's okay. And then it has all of the, like, features about the SMG that I like, obviously. This is actually an SMG. This forward choil and the profile of this handle is just, I love it. It works so well for my hands. Um, and so, I don't know, maybe it's blasphemy to say this to all the Strider fanboys, but if there was like a Strider on bearings with tighter tolerances that didn't have lock stick, <laughs> like I'd probably really be interested. I don't need a flipper tab or anything on it. I still want a middle finger flick it, but it'll just work better in that way. And so, I don't know. I don't know whether I'm gonna end up liking this one more than the Protec that I have right now, I guess is what I'm trying to say. They're both cool to me. This one probably carries even better than that Protec does with its profile and, and everything that it's got going on. It, it's got a better blade steel for sure. 20 CV, I'll take 10 times out of 10 over 154 CM. This one's hollow ground, that one's flat ground. So there's like some interesting comparing for me to do ahead, <laughs> ahead of the way. Um, but yeah, let's rattle off real quick where I'm coming at this knife from in terms of what I normally kind of review a knife on. So Ergos, love the Ergos. Hate the jimping. Do not like the jimping on here one bit. I would like it if there was no jimping on this knife. I guess I kind of like the jimping back here when I'm in a reverse grip up here on this part of the knife. But in general, all of this jimping up here, I, I, you could take it away and I'd be fine. Um, <laughs> but the Ergos of this overall shape just work really well for me. So ergonomically, great. Um, carry, this knife in this version carries really, really well. Like I said, I'd prefer a deep carry clip. The only aftermarket deep carry clips that fit Striders I think look hideous <laughs> that I've seen. Maybe there's some I'm missing out on. Um, there's like skull shaped ones and stuff that I have no interest in. I think they look tackier than like the skull Chavez clip. Anyways, um, this knife carries quite well. There's a decent bit of knife that sticks out of your pocket, but, I mean, it's not the end of the world. I, I just prefer deep carry. It's not like it's all all carry. Um, and in and out of the pocket, it's nice and smooth. It's very slim in pocket. This version's not super heavy. It feels like pretty much all the weight is coming from this thick blade stock, because everything else about it feels fairly light. Um, so yeah, it carries well. Um, action is not good. It's just if I'm comparing this to the knives that I consider having a good action, it's bad. It's usable, right? Like, obviously I'm doing it here. I can manipulate this knife one-handed, and it's reliable, but it's by no means fun to fidget with, which, sue me, I like to fidget with knives. Like, <laughs> I have a good time pulling a knife out of my pocket and playing with it. This one, if I pull it out of my pocket to play with it, I find myself leaving it open and just twirling it. <laughs> it's not about playing with the action. It's about, like, holding it, I guess. Um, so yeah, action is not very good. And then lastly would be cutting. And I haven't done a ton of cutting with this knife yet, but I've done a little bit. And I feel like I kind of know what to expect out of this robust blade. And it's not like optimal for EDC, but like if I keep this knife long term, right? If this becomes like a go-to knife in my collection, I think where I see this knife fitting really is more of an out here kind of knife. Like, with how nice and slim it is to carry, but how robust that blade is, and how solid it feels to me, and kind of the reputation of Strider knives and what they're expected to be capable of, I think this should be the kind of knife that, to me, becomes an outdoorsy hiking adventure knife. And so, this blade grind and profile 
for that set of tasks that come with being out in a place like this, I think is a lot more compelling. Um, so yeah, it's it's going to be interesting <laughs> because I, I, I'm coming into this one a little bit torn on it. But I'm open to liking it. I've always had like some resistance to loving Striders, mostly because I have some friends who are so into them that like I have resistance to like joining them, <laughs> right? Because I feel like they are winning. Um, but I also have always like deep down, I've I've loved the profile, the way they look. In fact, when I first got into like the Instagram side of collecting knives, and I really started learning that Striders even existed. Um, it was kind of like one of my first grails that I had on my list. And then there's a lot of kind of detractors <laughs> who say a lot of negative things about Strider. And so I kind of cooled off on it for a little bit because I was like, oh, there's more happening here than just like a knife that looks cool to me. But I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a complex one, this guy. So I guess that'll be my first impressions. We'll see where my full review ends up going. And then ultimately I will do a comparison between this and the Protec Strider SNG because I've got that one here at the moment. Um, and that one is, in my opinion, the coolest version that currently exists. This one is, in my opinion, the best version for me that currently exists. Um, so it's going to be interesting. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for checking it out with me, guys. And uh, there will be more to come soon. So I'll see you on the next one.